Sky Profit, baby. I'm back with another video for you, man. Hey, look, spirits say, if you pay attention, the funny thing is, some things that happen is intentions behind them. Make it make sense for yourself. Hey, if you didn't have a blessed day or you thought you didn't, you did. I'm just reminding you. It don't matter what you went through, what you've been through, what you were sent through. Free choice took you. But you're here now. A prophecy, here now, you still intact. Yeah, you're probably thinking, Craig, but you're still intact. Yeah. You're going to open your eyes, jaw in the morning, if you use that free choice toward that. Your intentions toward that. Your focus toward that. So, this is just a little nightcap. I ain't got nothing wrote. Spirit just got me hitting the button. Because Spirit say, we about to see where the stamina lie, where the intentions lie, where the everlasting lies at. For whatever that means, I don't know, but I know this. This button, I'm going to hit it when Spirit tell me hit it. Even if I'm not sure about what I'm about to say, which I'm not right now. But I'm sure about Spirit. I'm sure about my higher self. I'm sure that I'm helping individuals. I'm also sure they got individuals trying to stop me. Like I'm sure of a bunch of things. <clears throat> but Spirit say one thing is for sure. I'm going to hit that button. When you hit that, that's a good sign. I've been down a long road. A lot of y'all can relate. You know, like, jump off the porch, hanging, start dabbling with dope, want to sell it, want to smoke it. I got control, like all this. Everybody ain't experienced it, but some of y'all did or, or watched, however it goes. It, it, it's relating. It's nothing but resignations, all right? So you just walk that track, but at the same time, you're really trying to find yourself. You know what I mean? You're messing with little chicks here and there. You're trying to get clean and go here and all that, all right? Now, listen, I'm going to pause, and I want to ask you a question. You ever had a bad grade in school? You know, and like somebody like, hey, what you made? And you don't want to say. You don't want to say what you made. It ain't that you don't know. You don't want to say it. Why? Why you don't want to say it? Because you don't want somebody to think you dumb. You don't want somebody to think you can't do it. You understand that? Whether you realize it or not, that's exactly what it was. Because you already know what you made. All right, so you would distract yourself from the truth. You would convince yourself from the truth. I was tired. Oh, uh, man, that shit, like, they, they switched it up on me. However it goes, just to comfort, just to comfort the moment and what you're going through. That was everybody's way of thinking. That was everybody's way of thinking. Now let me ask you this. What's the reason for you not saying what you made if you know what you made? It's caring about something else over self. Whether it's the person whether it's that pride, whatever it is, is caring about something else over self. Self-love is what you're supposed to be understanding. You're not supposed to be being selfish. You ain't supposed to be, you know, like, don't want to be around individuals, none of that type of thing. But you have to get acquainted with yourself. Because I could guarantee you this. Spirit say you more acquainted 
with other individuals than you are with yourself. How many of y'all, y'all don't be in no, no good mood. Y'all don't be in that, in that right sense, in that calm, peaceful state of mind. But you watch other individuals be in it. You watch other individuals going about their day, ain't worrying about certain things. You watch other individuals just making it, and it seems like they have that peace of mind with them. You can look at each one of them individuals. You can like, yeah, they don't go to church. They this don't. None of that matters. We spiritual beings. All an individual has to do is understand the direction that they being provided. That's it. You could go get the smartest scholar on this planet if you want to. And prophet can guarantee, I can assure you this. All it takes is an individual that understands the decision that they making for themselves toward other individuals. That's the smartest individual on the planet. That's the individual walking the blueprint. I used to look at certain individuals like, man, why? Like, how they can even help them, bro? Like, they already know, like, damn, man, it is it, wasted. You know, like, I done looked and seen that. Not understanding, like, it, it's nothing wasted. It's nothing wasted. Whatever that individual needed for, they go and get it. They, that's provided for whether we think it's good or bad. It's just a good deed. But that's the human nature of individuals. I wouldn't give it to them because they go and smoke some dope. I wouldn't give it to them because they go and trick it off. I wouldn't give it to them because they go and drink. I wouldn't give it to them. I just wouldn't give it to them. You would never try to put yourself in them shoes, though. You'd never try to put yourself in them shoes. But you would say that each and every day. Why? Because society taught you that. Society taught you that if you see somebody and it don't look like they have nothing, they ain't got nowhere to go, they ain't got nowhere to eat, they got one shoe on, like, that's the lowest person on this earth. That's what you was given through perception. Through perception. And you know what? I can assure you this. The most humblest angel you gonna ever meet is going to be looking just like that. Just like that. This is what I learned. I never used to just hand out money, but like I'd give change here and there, like, you know, partners and all that, like coming out the store, all this type of thing. You know, like, but the thing that always stuck with me is these, at the red light type of thing, you know, at the inter at the intersection type of thing.